Just a second, I got an actual message here. Alright, so, my bad. Alright, um, Adventure Girl out here stuck in the desert. Uh, we're gonna do, let's see, the Tarani are, god damn it! Fuck, man! Okay, cool, that's great. Um, I'm, I'm trying to fucking think and I keep getting all these goddamn messages like leave me the fuck alone for five minutes uh, alright I need to draw the map maybe I should have both of her hands like nah cause that's gonna be too busy right here um oh Where the fuck am I? Something like that right there. Right there. So this hand at that angle. Alright, God, if I can get the damn eraser out here. Don't worry about all the blue you see. We have tricks to erase that shit now. We have tricks to erase that shit now. Okay. So. That one's too high. So you can tell if your boobs are too high or not, is that boobs have this little like skin thing. I'll show you in just a second. Hold on. I gotta lower this one down a bit. Do your boobs hang low? Can you tie them in the bow? Can you tie them up my the bow? Alright, so what they have is this little like piece of skin there that connects them from the underarm to the shoulder muscle. There we go. There we go. That's it right there. Let me get all this goddamn dust off of here. This is a struggle, boy. This was meant to be easy. And so they got kind of st not stubby arms, but shorter arms. You know, they are like tiny people. that go one of these days I gotta draw a male Tarani they're fucking huge I haven't really drawn a lot of them because the uh, the demand for my game kind of disappeared for a while there and uh, not not because of the players anything like that uh, I don't think that I really had a lack of want from players, it's just that life has been very dicey these last couple of months. Just very strange, very adjusting, very, very everything but leaning towards the creative side. There we go. There we go. Now I got it. What you want is the uh, what you want is the bodies, people you're drawing. It doesn't matter what people they are. You want them, you want them to have a, a what was it a potato sack, a body, appearance. Uh, let me explain. So a lot of people tend to draw the body like it's a square, right? 
or they'll draw it like it's a square. When I'm getting into a fucking tangent. I'm sorry, my bad. You shut up. Learn to draw. <laughs> Just the old thing that I learned was like do it like do it like a, a sack. Don't do it like a box. Do it like a sack, and it, it helps me a lot. Um, the neck. Put that jawline a little bit forward, eh? right here. There we go. There we go. That's got it. That was the missing piece of the podunk puzzle. No. All right. And then we got. God damn it. Okay. Neck going down. Fucking bollocks, man. Are you serious with this now? Oh, I gotta recycle this piece. Can't afford to waste lead. I'm broke. Hmm. There we go. I'm poor as fuck. Gotta recycle my lead. <sighs> Alright, there we go. Alright. Well, like that there, so. This, this fucking angle sucks for this hand. I'll tell you that right now. This angle sucks for this hand. Alright, so I want it to be like that. Alright, so if I turn, right? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Looking at the thumb joint right here on the top. Alright. Then the actual hand is turned. Alright, so we got the first... Something like that there. Okay. We got one, two, and three. Because they only have like four fingers. They don't have five fingers. They get that four finger discount. <laughs> this here. So this is going to be the lowest one. Where am I? That's the that's what I'm trying to evoke here, by the way, the where am I look. It's one. So far so good. Another two. Number three. think that is going to do. I don't think it's perfect, but I think it works. I think it works. All right. All right. So, step one, done. Okay. And we're gonna put like a, a backpack like right here, like partially unpacked, make it look like they make it look like she like was looking for the map. So that's what we're gonna do. So 
that's the hand is like, where are we? What the fuck am I doing here? And we'll do the other hand. Let's see. We'll do it come down from right here. Gonna do it to where the map kind of fold. It doesn't fold, but it's gonna lean over a little bit. There we go, something like that there. And we'll do it. have is the pre precursor to a map so this one's going to be a map that she has rolled many times and rolling I don't know if y'all have rolled papers before giggity um, but rolling it would cause distress on the edges mainly that's why those scrolls you see in pictures always have the edges fucked up but the top and bottom are fine because the top and bottom was tucked in, the edges are the things that are moving all the time. What is going on here? Uh oh, got a scammer! Hello? 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 I'm eagerly awaiting your call. I'm old and I want to give you money. My penis is big and juicy. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know what the fuck that was all about, man. That that was just uh yeah, that was nothing. That was a waste of my fucking time. Sorry. Let me turn on some music here, man. Let me get some music going and we'll finish this. The Grimbler itself isn't going to take too long to draw, so don't fret. It was mainly this is the boss fight. I think the picture's coming along pretty nice. Uh, we're going to ink it up. We're going to make it look good in just a minute. It'll all come to focus. Let's throw on some more music here. Oh, man. Yeah, there we go. I'm feeling that. Let's turn it up a little bit. Reminds me of the fucking 80s, boy. I was old enough to uh, enjoy parts of the 80s, but not really enjoy it. Where I started to live was the 90s. You could say I was a 90s kid, but I'm more of an 80s kid. I was an 80s baby. 90s kid, I guess. I guess maybe I was. Yeah, I was kind of a 90s kid. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, so. Um, the uh, the Tarani, by the way, uh, we're back on this because I'm back on this. 
The uh, Tarani uh, can only be certain classes in the game. One of the classes that they can be that you would most likely choose is the um, the war grinder or the swordsman type. So that's what we're going to make her is a war grinder. What's a war grinder? War grinder is basically a swordsman type that relishes battle. And not only do they relish battle, they value scars. They value like every scar is another victory, basically. Um, they value uh, blood and death and combat. They they're built for battle. And uh, in my game, tanks are tanks. Fucking war grinder is not is not a tank as much as they are an active tank. Um, they are very tanky. They have like the I think the most hit points in the game. They don't have the best armor in the game. They just they do the most damage mitigation and the most uh, they they turn damage and they turn damage and uh, 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 blood loss into rage and attacks. And they're a pretty cool class, man. Very cool class. They are a tank, but not a tank in the essence where they have a sword and board. They do their best work with two-handed weapons and a battlefield full of people that are three times as strong as them. I'm dead serious about this. <laughs> so this is going to be a war grinder Tarani. Probably like a level one or a level two because she's lost. This is what some of y'all will look like in the desert. Talking to a goddamn cactus about where you're at. You can start all kinds of anime like that, too. Okay, there we go. Do they have their own ceremonial clothing, I hear you ask. Nobody asked that score. Nobody, nobody's here. Oh. Well, I'll answer anyway. Uh, no, not really. Um, their clothing mainly consists of some of the same shit you find like in a Native American type place uh, I mean they live off the land before they live in the cities so uh, do, do with that what you will her booty she's got that she's got them hips boy she's got that waist mm, yeah she's got that itty bitty mm, there we go and now I've sexualized a little bull person but why? Because life isn't fair. Now shut up. <laughs> Touch yourself. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. All right. That's the body. Um, we can work with that. Let's uh, do the rest of this grumbler now. Now that we have the actual body there. Um. So, if I remember right, oh God, this is going to be weird. They have a facial shape. Let me draw the arms real fast. So, he's going to be doing the... <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be funny. So I want that. All right. Need to be in there. Need this not to touch the edge. Let's make that right there is the low or the farthest away. Closest I can get to that. That's the word I'm trying to find. There we go. There we go.
far so good. So far so good. Okay. Licking chegs, chicken legs. There we go. Okay. Let me erase all the crap inside that I don't need. I don't know who the hell be talking to piggies, but goddamn, they sure message a lot. Listen to all that shit over there. Boy, she's popular. Y'all want to talk to some man, talk to Piggy. She's popular. <laughs> Apparently I'm not popular anymore. <laughs> There we go. Okay, it's one. And the other one. It's kind of an interesting conversation here. Uh, did you know that the Wild Western myth of water and a cactus is exactly that, a myth? If you grab a cactus in the desert and you open it up and attempt to drink out of it, you probably will actually die from that. Um, the mush in there would actually de... It's called desalinization. It's... Uh, or dehydration it'll dehydrate you not desalinize you it's a uh, it's dehydration it'll dehydrate you actually worse than just not drinking water um, the shit will actually give you the runs too uh, the mush inside of a cactus is not for drinking that crap it will kill you dead but I seen this one like I seen this one show one time where they survived off of water in a cactus. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's Hollywood folklore. In actuality, a cactus, if you drank it, would actually kill you. If you were thirsty in the desert, anyway. But, as luck would have it, grimblers do allow you to drink them. Um, you can actually cut a grimbler open, squeeze the innards, and make a very, very tasty juice out of their little bodies. Their children, the Grembler Gourds, um, when they start out like as a cactus, they're those little barrel cactus looking things. They are actually the most delicious. <laughs> That's terrible, Scorn. Yeah, yeah, this game isn't for people who are easily offended. There we go, okay. All right, all right, we're getting it so far, getting it so far. Let's do the center line. Center line is here. It's a cactus. Why is the center line important? Well, every the center line is important no matter what you're drawing because the center line will tell you where everything angles or bends towards. Like now that the center line is here, I could put a dot anywhere and I can get the circumference. You know what? I'm not going to explain to you this. All right, now, they do have a chin that goes down. I believe it's right below there. And yeah, there are rules to this. If you want to draw a grumbler, then uh, follow the rules. There is a chin on them. They do have like a jaw, I guess. It's inside, so it's like wrinkly. But they do have kind of a face going on. They 
have kind of a, if I remember right, it was like big, fat, juicy lips. They have a big, fat mouth is what it is. And the eyes... Yeah, they have eyes. And they don't have a nose, but they do have this crown shape on the top of their head. So we're going to need to mark that off a bit here. There we go. Now they have a, a little bit, if I remember right, it was the belly. I'd have to dig out the original pictures of these things to show you that I'm not bullshitting about all this. I sat down and like, I made kind of rules about how to draw these things. And I try not to break my rules once I set them. So they got kind of a, it's from the eye down. What it is is just like basically like a belly or like a stomach. So he's kind of turning a little bit so we will have to do that so he's kind of turning a little bit oh shit it's kind of got that whole turning motion going on there this right here there we go if I remember right they do have a few more points of articulation but um since I haven't drawn them in so long, dude, I think we'll just reinvent the wheel here. Try to do what looks right. Not going to be so slavish to the original design that nobody's ever seen before. You know what I mean? I do want to make that a little softer, though. There we go. That looks about right. So you can kind of see it. He's kind of turned a little bit. You know what I mean? Oh, by the way, I might as well announce this now. Um, the other day, it was stated on my stream that I ended abruptly that I would not do games anymore because people are not watching them. Uh, that's mostly true. Um, I will still do games, but I will alternate them on a weekly basis. For instance, this coming week, I will relaunch my stream. This is pretty much the relaunch if you will, of my stream. I have, like, given up on my old audience. Uh, if, you're, if you're part of my old audience and you're still around, thank you very much. Uh, if you're not around anymore, it was nice of you being here, but i got to move on. Um, so uh, it is my relaunch, not a rebrand, just a relaunch. And what I will do is every Wednesday, I will alternate between a game and a drawing. So like this Wednesday, I was gonna do a drawing. So next Wednesday, I'll start off with a game. So next Wednesday, we'll do some type of video game. It'll probably be retro. I don't know, uh, it, it probably won't be Zomboid. It'll probably be like a retro game or it'll be a weird shitty game off of Steam, something like that. Point is that um, I'll alternate between doing games and drawings. So. This Wednesday will be a game, and then on Thursday I'll do drawings again. Next Wednesday I'll do a drawing, and then on Thursday I'll do a drawing. So Thursdays are always going to be my new art day. So if you're a fan of like watching me doodle, watching me create all this crap, Thursdays are the days to be here. And I will try to keep them uh, around 11 o'clock start time. If it's cool with everybody.
I just I feel like this is wrong somehow. Hold on, man. It's not. This isn't working the way that I want. Just give me a second here. I gotta figure this out. <sighs> okay, so center line right here, and then we're going to. That's the problem right there. Center line's right here. And it moves. There it is. There it is. Center line moves over. It's right here. That's what it was. There we go. All right, let me check this message real fast. We'll get back on this here. Multimedia message, huh? What's this? <laughs> I think that uh, Piggies wants me to do like bathroom artwork. <laughs> Maybe I should do some bathroom artwork. If you guys want to see me do some bat bat that 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 that, if you guys want to see me do some bathroom artwork on this stream, go to my Discord and tell me Scorn. I want to see some bathroom artwork, and I will do some bathroom artwork. If you want to like buy it and hang it up in your fucking bathroom, we'll do that. <laughs> There we go. Make it look like it's twisting a little bit more. Okay. Now, we've got the head, which is supposed to be like a crown looking deal. And it's got the main portion. And God, if I remember right, it wraps around. We'll just do it like this one, two. good so far there we go yes they all have it every one of them it's just the top of their fucking head okay good so far um I remember lines I remember lines hold on That's wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Why am I fucking this up today, man? What the fuck is wrong with me? Let's just let's just redo this whole goddamn section right here, because I am fucking it up. I'm fucking it up. Okay. Let's start over. This right here goes straight fucking down, right? Okay. 
Got all the sand and all the hullabaloo. That's great. That's great. Okay. Okay. Um. So, section here. Okay. Eyes. Okay, you know what, let's not do the complicated ass little twist that I got going on here. Let's fucking just get the damn shape right. How about that? So, okay, that's straight down. There we go. Okay, that looks good so far. Center line right there. So up. okay, so far so good. We saw that. Okay. Now, that's good so far. All right. Okay. Spicy tenders, baby. All right. Now, they got this belly looking deal here. color are they usually? Grumbler cactus, the most common kind is green with a pink inside. Green and pink. Don't feel bad for the Grumbler, by the way. They are stupid. This type of shape right here.
it's funny because there are uh, if you don't think that the grumblers should be consumed by people you can actually play an activist if you wanted and yeah, have activism that shit existed before 2020 um, you can be a grumbler activist in Tomb Wreckers you can like fight for the rights of grumblers <laughs> you can also be a bullet mule activist if you want fight for the rights of those too alright so they do have hands they, they, they don't do much with them but they do have hands um I think we're going to put it, give me a second to finish these eyes here. Just big black eyes. Okay. This right here. That's what their lids look like. Big folds. Okay. There we go. So he is going to be pointing. So his hand does like a twist. So we'll do like a lump right there where it's twisting. And right there. Okay. So he's twisting his hand up a little bit. He's pointing like he's like that direction over there. Then one, two, three. So he's going to be pointing with this finger, which is basically their fingers are made out of like prickly pears or like a little joint. to their hand he's going to be like There we go, more like that. So his thumb. Move this here. I know it looks a little odd, but uh, that's a Grimbler cactus hand. his fingers he's like pointing like oh it's over there I think see they are pretty stupid I said they were sentient I didn't say they were intelligent sentience doesn't denote intelligence it just denotes a self-awareness there we go like we're self-aware and I know that you know we're, we're sentient creatures and I know you know Plenty of fucking stupid people. Just hop on YouTube, you can see them everywhere. So with this hand, he's going to be doing the whole like, oh, like maybe it's over there, you know? We're going to put clothes on her in a second. I just, it's important to get the whole thing down first. Now, this is taking a lot longer than I thought, man. Shit. Sorry for that. <clears throat> it was because this was the boss fight right here, man. This and then this, getting them right, just getting them right, getting them tight. You know what I mean? Um. All right. So with this hand, it's gonna be like that there. So one, two, three, 
Okay. Hey, piggies, what's going on? Hi. She said lurking with no audio, huh? She has no audio. Fancy love. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's get back on target here. <laughs> Dapper love pig. Hell yeah. Ha! <laughs> All right, so this thing here, he's going to be like pointing like that. He's going to be like this. take that thumb out. The thumb kind of wouldn't be visible anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay. So, he's like, I don't know, it's over there somewhere, you know what I mean? Hopefully that's what it looks like. Uh, all right, so, their jawline, their chin. Chin is just this little, like, dealy bop coming out right there, all right? But then they have, like, the mouth. We'll do this one like a, like he's trying to answer. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. 
They're so fucking stupid, man. I'm telling you, they're so stupid. If you guys put them in your game, they are fucking, like, next to retarded. Big ass lips, though. What are the lips, you ask? Well, the lips are actually for attracting small creatures that they eat. They uh, they not only eat. Um, they're like a. a, a, a plant that can digest complex like enzymes and whatnot like a venus flytrap basically they don't eat people just like smaller creatures like little birds and shit like that mostly they just drink water and use that but for the for 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 some some uh nutrition they will actually eat smaller animals yeah i've actually sat around and thought about this i had i had no time or no time. I had nothing but time when I fucked up my back. I sat around for like 13, 15 hours a day and just did this. Made this fucking game. Whole world. Saved my damn life. I'll tell you that. There we go. So. There we go. All right, now, final shape. Right above the eyebrow, if I remember right, they have this, it's connected to their mouth. It almost looks like a beak. It goes out their forehead and it goes down. It almost looks like a nose, but it's not. What is it? It's just this little fucking gland sticking out of their face. That's all it is. But that completes the grumbler. There we go. They all look not identical, but damn near identical, by the way. So it's not like some will have a bigger one or some will have a littler one. They all pretty much look like this. Well, the green ones, anyway. Uh, like I said, uh, since I'm kind of bringing them back since I like the ridiculous nature of it. Um, and that's the thing about Tomb Wreckers is it's it's meant to be kind of more anime, more over-the-top stupidity. So you'll have creatures like this in it. But, um... Damn it. The, uh... The Grumblers, there's a couple different variety of them, and they live in different parts of the planet. There we go. Whoo! All right. That was a fight, but we got there. And if I remember right, they have some other, like, basic weird-ass lines on them, too. But, um, I think we're going to call it right there with the weird lines and shit everywhere to try to make sense out of that. That'll be it. That'll be the new design. That's the old design, essentially. Uh, they do have like little shoulders here where they kind of fit in or the uh, arm joint kind of fits in there but they don't have like a circle there I just was drawing that for perspective for my own perspective uses I guess you could say and that's it that would be it you know what the arm is too far forward give me a second here let's fix that there we go there we go. Believe it or not, that makes a difference. All right, so 
There we go. The Grumbler is done. Where's all the cactus spines, Scorn? There's cactuses, right? They're going to have, like, spines all over them. Yes and no. See, the Grumbler is coated in fine, like, uh, like almost like fine, fine spines, I guess you could say. This particular breed, the fingers will have spines on them, like spikes. But, um, no, for the most part, the uh, green Grumblers, the most common ones, they don't have that shit. All right, let's put the uh, cactus lines on here. So, have this one here. Okay, and then this. We're gonna do one for the mouth here. On this side too. go and then what will happen here is it'll start to kind of look more like a creature and less like something just kind of half-ass invented for comedic relief see once you start using rules for things I found out once you start using rules for creation you start making things that look more like they belong to a certain kingdom or phylum. And if anybody understands what I mean by that, again, you're probably too old because I don't teach that shit anymore. Kingdom, phylum, class, genus, species. Or no, it's kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. That's what it is. Seven of them. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. Yeah. There's the kingdom, which is the animal kingdom. The phylum, which is the next step down and all that until it gets down to like you know canine kingdom animalia canine the dog that's that's how it goes anyway long story short you use rules to create your shit you'll be a lot better off and I have fucked this up hold on so the arm joint is going to be farther back and you won't be able to see it so this right here is going to look like that there we go. There we go. That's got it. Donkey Kong, baby. Donkey fucking Kong. All right. Knock this shit out. I feel like playing The Witcher, man. I really do. I feel like playing The Witcher. I, I played fucking Fortnite last night. And I played some of the Witcher quests. I don't know who made those Witcher quests. But I'm telling you right now, they're a motherfucking fan. They're a motherfucking fan, bro. If you played The Witcher, you'll understand this next statement. When I walked in to Care Morin on Fortnite and did the quests to get into the castle, I fucking teared up when I actually got into the castle, when I was playing it, I got teary-eyed. If anybody has played The Witcher, you'll understand. If anybody is a fan of that series, you'll fucking understand. And I'm not talking the fucking bullshit Netflix special, the, uh, the, 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 the Femme Power, you know, special. I'm talking about the motherfucking game, the books, the, uh, the actual, you know, the lore, where it comes from, all that. Um, I actually teared up because there's so much history that you have in Care Morin. And it's just, wow, seeing it again like that, just, I don't know, there's something about it. Because Geralt, whether you get the good or the bad ending, Geralt either dies of old age or he just dies outright. And depending on how you do the game is depending on how he lives and dies. The fact is that either way, at the end of it, he still dies. And it's a good ending. It's a good ending because it's a hard ending. And the series was not meant to be easy. The poisoning, the abuse, the, uh, the unwillingness to serve, the creation, just all of it, dude. 
good series, but seeing uh, seeing Kara Morin in Fortnite, it was really, really well done. Uh, I know that some people are going to be like, it looks stupid. Ooh. Bro, it's a fucking Fortnite. It's a Fortnite engine. It's not supposed to be, you know, like it was when 